All right, today we're taking a look at the Lionel's Polar Express. I've got this set up around my Christmas tree. That's engine 1225, a date, not just a train. Everybody wants Polar Express because, you know, that there's that movie. And of course, it's a great movie. I, I just absolutely love it. I have a copy upstairs. I watch it pretty much every year. Polar Express it comes with uh, 40, 40 inches or so of train track. And of course, the minute I start filming, Nikki shows up. Nikki and trains are inseparable. So whenever I start filming, he's got to come in there and take a look. You'll probably have noticed that from some of my older films when I was doing the end scale layout. This is the first step uh, towards my O scale layout. It's going to be featuring all fast track. It's going to feature all uh, Lionel, Lion Chief, or Legacy engines. Lion Chief, Lion Chief Plus, Lion Chief Plus 2.0 and the legacy engines. So what I'm hoping to do is set it up like this with 036 uh, fast track. And so we'll be going from here. When you get this, you're going to get a longer oval than this. This isn't the full oval. I left out two 10 inch pieces. So the whole thing would be about 10 inches wider. Um, I just didn't have the room right now to get that set up. But when you get this, you also get a bell which I've got hanging on the tree right now so I won't be able to show that to you right now um, you also get this remote this is the Lionel Polar Express remote basically very easy to use rotates with the thumb so that's fast forward and this is reverse and of course the farther you turn it the faster it goes you have the bell you have the recorded announcements if you want to hear uh, Tom Hanks and then of course you've got the horn right here. So you'll notice that when you when you hear this, I have the volume turned way down on this train because it's kind of a little bit loud. I work shift work, so I'll work 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And on my nights off, I stay on shift. So what that means is if I'm on nights when I'm working, I'm also on nights on my day off. So I will I want to be able to run this without waking up the whole family. So I got the app for my phone. Uh, an and the Android app, and the very first thing I did was turn down the bell, turn down the engine chuff sounds. All right, you notice once I plug it in and turn it on, it's going to start making this chirping tone. And you recognize it immediately. You'll be thinking yourself Clint Eastwood. So, not sure many people know that. To get rid of the chirp sound, take your remote, turn it to the side, click on. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a little steam. Now when you first get any train engine, I would recommend running it slow for a little while. Slow this thing down so you can hear me talking. Okay, so you wanna let the engines wear in, you wanna let all the parts wear in, you know, all the built-in factory lubrication that's on it, on the wheels, on the axles, all that get worked in. What's really surprising is look at how slow you can run the Polar Express, it's amazing. And I could run this off of my Android, but of course, you know, right now I'm using my phone to film this. So, the Polar Express is based upon the 284 Berkshire engine, which is used pretty much by the Nickel Plate and Pere Marquette roads. Uh, the Polar Express is actually modeled after the Pere Marquette 1225 locomotive. The Berkshire is based upon the 284 white wheel arrangement, which is two wheels in the front, four drivers in the middle, and then you've got the two at the back. The Burke is about too short of my favorite steam train model. You know, if I'm going to start out, I might as well start with the steam train. I'm expecting later on today the famous Lionel train to show up. For those of you who didn't grow up in the 70s, you don't know about the Sears Christmas catalog would come out. And it always had the Lionel Santa Fe. And the Santa Fe Super Chief is basically, you know, you, you saw that. And I think it was the 1973 Christmas catalog. And I remember seeing that and asking my parents for it, and my mom said no. Well, it's showing up later on today. That's going to be a big moment for me. I'm going to have to edit that out because I'm sure I'm going to get kind of a little emotional when I open this up. But what you're looking at here is you're looking at what feels like, if you're used to HO scale, or in my case, N scale, this is an O scale. So this is four times bigger than the engines I'm used to. Now, the Burke is a little bit under prototypical proportions there because those... This is running on 036 track, and I doubt you could get a prototypical arrangement. Lionel's abbreviated on it a little bit, but most of you really won't notice because it's only probably about an inch or so smaller than it should. Now the Polar Express uh, 
engine. You have the tender there, that's where all the sound is. And we have three passenger cars. So what I'll do is I'll, as I get it up to the front, I'll pull it to a stop so you can take a look at them. Is the first train is the marionette car. That's the lost toys car. And basically I set this up the way it's done in the movie. When they left the tender and climbed through the cars to get inside, they went through the first, the train of lost toys is being sent back to the North Pole to be repaired. The second one being, of course, is the passenger compartment where they actually were in. And that, of course, is the hot chocolate car. You'll notice uh, some of the silhouettes on the windows are actually of the hot chocolate servers. Let's move it forward a little bit so you can see. And last is the observation car. And I don't have the little deck on there right now. Uh, I don't have that on there because right now, you know, we're not going to be staying in this house too much longer. So I'm going to pack this back up. Put, uh, and I'll put the observation car platform on there. It's missing it, um, but right now I want to be able to pack it back up and I don't want to take a chance on that getting broken. You've heard the one announcement. And so depending on what you do before or after, Lionel has this set up with the recordings And it has different recordings. So if you sound the horn and then press the announcement. You get a different recording. So notice the working headlight on there. The bell on mine probably in shipping was pushed up. I pushed that back down. So if your bell is tilted up, make sure you push that back down. There's the footprints on it. I have one car, I think that's backwards, the puppet car. Should have been facing the other direction because the footprints are going the wrong direction because that is from where the hero boy uh, walks all the way from the observation car all the way up to the... Well, that's about it for this review. We've gone on for a while, giving you a good look at the Polar Express, played some of the sounds for you. All in all, I would really recommend this one. This is the great first package to start out with. You know you're gonna want something for around the Christmas tree or around the menorah. Let's go out and grab it. And of course, there's add-on track packages such as the figure eight, which I'll be getting shortly. And I'll be uh, taking you along with you and showing you how that all puts together with some time-lapse footage. And we'll go from there. So. And just remember, comment, like, subscribe helps us out. Maybe that way draws us the attention of Lionel and they can start sending me some trains to start demoing or other accessories. And that would just be great. And it would definitely encourage me and give you a lot more to watch. So, um, as always, take care. Uh, enjoy yourself. Keep running your trains. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time.